Argonauts. Hi, I'm Abrigit. And I'm, wait, so I'm, I'm not going to say my name for now. And we are going to be talking about Jason and his amazing adventure with his friends. Though his cruel uncle killed his parents when he was little, he did not give up on anything. Jason had a true character within him. He was nice, polite, courageous, strong, and willing to do anything. He had practiced many years for this week to fight his cruel uncle and get revenge on him. When Jason went to his uncle's palace, he encountered a stream. Where Hera happened to be admiring his beauty. Hera appeared as an old woman and she wanted to be carried across the river. Jason immediately picked her up and walked through the stream. She became heavier and heavier as he went through the stream, but Jason kept going. Hera was taken by his perseverance, so she promised to aid him while getting his throne back. When Jason asked his uncle for the throne, he said that in order to claim the throne, he needed to retrieve the golden fleece, a golden piece of cloth guarded by a never-sleeping dragon. Jason randomly accepted the challenge and went to get the golden fleece. Jason gathered many other heroes such as Hercules and Siren and formed a magical ship called the Argos, which had eyes and a face. The Argos set sail towards a kingdom ruled by a king known for his wisdom. When they reached the kingdom, the king could not speak, for he had not eaten in months. It turned out that each time the feast was out, the three harpies would come and steal his food. And once again, he has achieved the impossible. He gathered Zeitz and Calchas to send the harpies far away and to never make them come back again. And yet, he did, and made them never come back again. Unable to thank Jason for his services, the king proposed that the Argonauts stay in his palace for the night. The next day, the king told them the way to the Golden Fleece and all the dangers to get there. As the Argonauts kept on going, they ended up at the Clashing Rocks. Jason released the bird after he got to the Crashing Rocks. The bird got through, but its tails and feathers got cut off. This gave the Argonauts hope. The Argonauts got onto the ship and rode faster than an arrow to find the Golden Fleece. Orpheus played inspiring music which made the Argonauts roll faster and faster. The Argo got through, but the back of the ship got crushed by its speed. The Argonauts swiftly sped through the harsh and tough Black Sea in minutes. As King Aedes saw Jason landing ashore, he went into a raging mayhem. He was no foreigner in his island. Jason led his army into the palace where he said that they were all great heroes and they had to come to offer the king with their services in return for the Golden Fleece. The king clenched his fists in anger but still said, sure, why not? Tomorrow between sunrise and sunset, you must harness my fire-breathing bulls and plow an entire field and sow it with the dragon's teeth. If you succeed, he continued, the golden fleece is yours. But if you fail, I shall cut out the tongues and lop off the hands of you and all your great heroes. Aedes made this deal without recognizing someone else in the boat, Hera. Hera found the king's daughter, who stood at her father's side with modestly honest eyes. She knew that she was the only one who can save Jason. Medea was her name. Medea was a young sorceress, a priestess of the witch god Hecate, and she must fall deep into Jason's heart. Eros took a love arrow and shot one into Medea's heart. Great, now look. She likes Jason because he was randomly standing in front of her. Huh. Later in the night, Medea went to meet Jason. After Jason came to the temple, when he was there, she told him that she had loved him so much and would even betray her own father to live with him. Medea heard that tomorrow Jason would ride a fire-breathing bull and pull a whole field. She knew that Jason couldn't do that. So, she gave Jason the magic salve. In the morning, Jason took the salve and went to the fire breathing bulls. Jason rode the raging bulls and plowed the whole field, then seated the dragon's tooth like it was nothing. Of course, it was something very hard. The king raged in blue hot flames and got mad. Medea led Jason to the golden feast, which was hidden in the dark of night. Medea led Jason to a dark grove, in where the golden fleece was shining brighter than the sun. The evil, never-sleeping dragon snuggled around the golden fleece. Medea bewitched the dragon and made it go into deep sleep. Jason took the golden fleece and ran to the Argo. Medea followed Jason. 